Welcome to Beyond Blessed where I post Christian inspirational messages that I hope will guide you to a closer relationship with God. I post daily inspirational messages. If you find value in this channel please like and subscribe as it helps the channel grow. Belief in God They are only three words, but are they really that simple to understand? You have been exposed to them throughout your entire life, but as time passes, you will understand how difficult it is to put them into practice. Obviously, I do not have any way of knowing what is in store not only for myself, but also for you. In the event of a catastrophe, it is possible that both you and I will lose everything, including our homes. It is possible that your partner will pass away as a result of a disease. It is possible that we will all have our hopes and dreams dashed. It's possible that a relationship that you've cultivated over the years will come to an end. Every bereavement hurts. When my friend Brian's health began to deteriorate due to cancer, I began praying for him with the same fervor that we had prayed for his sister, another friend of mine named Tracy. My friend ended up passing away and going to be with the Lord despite the fact that I recited the same verses and prayed for God to heal him and give him the ability to recover. Because things did not turn out the way I had anticipated, I could have became bitter and disillusioned. Why did my friends have to die? But if God hadn't planned to use it for good, he wouldn't have allowed it to happen in the first place. Even if you are unable to comprehend the logic behind God's actions, rest assured that he is in control. He is looking out for our best interests at all times. There is always a reason for everything the Father does. It is a part of his plans for our lives. Put your complete trust in the Lord and don't lean on your own understanding. If you acknowledge him in everything you do, he will direct your steps in the right direction. You should put your full trust in God with every part of your being, including your heart, mind, and actions. But what if our prayers aren't being heard and things continue to not go the way we want them to? We hope things will improve, but they aren't at this point. We do not perceive God's favor. All too often, we allow ourselves to become disheartened, and in those moments, we question God. Why aren't you doing anything about this? I am being dealt with unfairly, that I am making an effort, or that my health is not in the best of shape. At work, despite all of my hard work, I was not given the promotion that I had hoped for, and the list could go on forever. We have faith that our happiness and our trust in God will be restored when certain events take place, such as when we meet the person who will complete us, when our health begins to improve, when we have a child, or when we are given that promotion. But when we do that, it means that our faith and trust in God are conditional, and that's not how we should think about things. I won't have faith in you until you fulfill my requirements and answer my prayers in the way and on the schedule that I specify. However, God doesn't operate that way. Our understanding isn't like His understanding. The problem with faith and trust that is contingent on certain circumstances is that there will always be things that we do not understand. As long as we are on this side of heaven, we will never fully comprehend all of the Father's ways. If I had faith and trust that were contingent on certain conditions being met, then the deaths of my friends would have caused me to harbor resentment and disillusionment in God. God, why didn't you answer my prayers when I asked you to? The reality is that God did answer my prayers, but not in the manner that I had anticipated He would. Can you accept the answers God gives you, even if they don't match up with what you were hoping for? A country music star sings a song that gives thanks to God for prayers that were not answered comes to the conclusion that although it might have appeared as though God had not heard his prayer, in reality, God had heard his prayer, but the answer was no. In the end, the singer arrives at the conclusion that the answer no that he received from God was the best possible response that he could have received. Because life doesn't always make sense, Faith is trusting and believing in God, especially when life doesn't make sense. It is impossible for us to have a complete understanding of everything that takes place in life. Along the way, there will be setbacks, disappointments, and even losses because God does not leave us in a direct path. Nevertheless, each one of these things plays a role in the plan that God has for us. But if your belief in God is conditional, 
you will have a tendency to wallow in your own misery. When you don't understand, believe in Him, and have faith in Him even when you don't understand what's happening, or it seems like you're headed in the wrong direction. When God is in charge of your life, you can rest assured that it will always be moving in the right direction. The continual feelings of negative emotions such as anger, hurt, and disappointment robs us of our joy, prevents us from enjoying life, and can keep us from appreciating the gifts and blessings that God has given us. Sometimes, God will put our faith to the test by putting obstacles in our path and causing us to experience setbacks. The purpose of this test is to determine whether or not we are able to maintain our faith in God in the face of trials and tribulations. It is important that we show Him that even if we do not have the answers that we want, we are still able to be content and happy with His decisions, that we are not going to harbor resentment or bitterness. When you can say that you believe in God's healing touch and that your health will improve without having to first understand His actions. When you can say, if it doesn't get better, I'm still going to honor God, I'm still going to believe in Him and do the best I can to magnify His name. Sometimes God will give you back what you were willing to let go of. Are you feeling frustrated because your plans aren't materializing as quickly as you'd like them to, or because your prayers aren't being answered in the way that you'd like them to be? Relax and have faith. God's got this. He knows what you need. You won't always understand what's going on. If you knew and understood everything that God was doing, then you wouldn't need faith. And if you were capable of looking at the big picture, you wouldn't need Him. Today, I'm asking you to put your faith into God's hands. If you will just obey God and do what He says, I have no doubt that He will do amazing things in your life. He is going to open doors for you, introduce you to the right people, teach you how to make the most out of challenging situations, and guide you toward the accomplishment of your destined goals. Brothers and sisters, if you put your full faith and reliance in God, I assure you that He will bless you with even more of His favor in your life. Comment below your own thoughts on the subject and as always, stay blessed.